morning, folks. What is up? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are having a great day, blessed day, awesome day, perfect day, beautiful day. We are at, uh, it's something, a part of the Harris chain, Emerald Boat Ramp. Um, that's where we're loading now. We're going to be doing some kayak fishing. Past three days, we've been filming for Drew Gregory, Dustin, and Dustin. Uh, they're part of the KBF. They've been all over doing tournaments, and they're kind of doing their kayak bass fishing classic. Um, so we, we've been chilling out the house fishing and doing drones. Well, I haven't been doing much fishing myself. So today, that's what we're doing. That is the goal. This is the last day of the trip. Just got back from Pennsylvania. Didn't even, like, unpack all my stuff. I literally got off the airplane, went home, put my stuff in my truck, slid on down here, and uh, started filming. But we got a quite quite the dilemma here it's uh pouring down rain and thunder as soon as i get here supposedly it's about to stop in about 50 minutes um sun's gonna be coming up in just a few woke up at like 5 50 got out here it's a 30 minute drive so you can kind of estimate the time on that but we're gonna go grab a snack try to burn some time and hopefully we can catch it back for the sunrise because I mean, I'd like to see that if anything. Um, it's definitely very pretty out here. They caught some nice fish yesterday. Caught a five, six. Um, they, they caught some nice fish. Drew placed seventh. Um, and I don't know about the rest of the boys, but good job to them. They'll be on Sandy Cooper next week up in South Carolina. So hopefully they can do some damage there. Um, you got a lot of big things coming with Drew as well. So you guys go check him out, Drew Gregory Fishing. Um, pretty neat guy, I like him, I like them all. And I've uh, just been, you know, connecting with them, getting to know them a little better. So it's all fun. That's networking, hanging out, that's that's the way it is. But uh, I'm gonna go to a gas station, stop ranting. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Well, hold on folks, hold on turn the truck off so you guys can hear me a little better we have made it it's just a tad windy just a tad i had to throw on the, the wind jacket here got the kayak up in the bag that's the uh, crescent real tree wrap um they gave one away and then this is drew's but uh anyways they, it's pretty cool looking but here we are look at that it goes all the way down there and follow it all the way down south the, the Harris chain connects to uh, Rodman, I believe. Yeah, that's how the manatees got here. But we're gonna try to do some fishing. I got a chatterbait on, a top water, and a wacky rig. So when it gets a little warmer, but I don't know, it's kind of a gloomy day, I'm not too sure. But I wanna get this kayak unloaded and try to catch some fish. So you guys stay tuned. Alright, here's this Gen 2 Z-Man chatterbait with the diesel minnow. Kinda kind of a unique colorway. I think it'll work. We'll give it a shot, see how it goes. This wind's gonna kill me today. I, I know it is. I know it is. Fun. A little shad busting up right here. What's all this going on? What's going on right here? What is going on? That's a fish. Is it? Oh yeah! It's a little guy! It's a little guy! Oh yeah! Oh, it's a pickerel! It's a pickerel! Oh my god! I was not expecting to catch one of these jokers today. That is a unique fish. It's almost like catching a muskie. Look at that guy. Oh, look at the colors on that thing. Oh, pulled it right by that grass line. I don't know how we're going to get this thing out. They've got super, super sharp teeth. Okay, man, just let it go. Just let it go. Well, it looks like we gotta do some surgery. Woo. 
finally got it out. Let's get this donkey back in the water. There he goes. Sweet. Let's get on a, a bass now. See if we can put any work to him. All right, well, we're gonna work our way down and try to see if we can find some more fish. Because they're obviously not right here, right? I mean, we didn't catch any. Unless I'm just a bad fisherman and I don't know how to fish. Either or. But that's the game plan. Oh, shoot. Uh, another pickerel. Oh, my gosh. Daggone thing. I thought it was a bass. I don't want to catch another one of you guys again. You guys are too mean with my bait. Okay, let it go. Let it go. Let it, let it go. Let it go. Okay, well, I'm not letting you go till you let it go. Well, maybe if I put him on the water, he'll let free. Oh, yeah, there he goes. Whew, I thought I had another bass. I'm trying to download some footage on my phone because my SD card is full. And I don't feel like picking up another one. But, hey, second fish of the day. Not a bass, but we'll take it. Holy cow, dude. Ah, another pickerel. Thought it was a big bass. He's, I mean, he's, he's a little bigger too. Dad, God, these things are crazy. Uh, I don't want to catch another one of those guys. I mean, they're fun, definitely entertaining me, but not entirely what I was after. I thought I was videoing too. I mean, he came out of the water for it. And came up and smacked it. I ripped it up. Bait came up. He came and plopped on it and everything. Eventually, we'll feed it through these pickerel and then find us a bass. Maybe. Who knows? Oh, there's one. Another pickerel. Dag. Dag gum. Did you guys see that? <laughs> and he got my skirt. Dag gum it. Ripped it off. I guess we'll try that. For the time being. That'd be nice if a big old bass blew up on it right there, huh? Huh? Sorry guys, it gets kind of lonely out here. And nobody talked to. So I just act like I'm talking to somebody. Hope you guys listen to me. If you are listening, go ahead and like and subscribe. That'll help. Yeah, that's a good old largemouth bass. A largemouth bass. I'd probably freak out if I saw like a nine pounder. It'd be quite lovely. It'd be nice if we caught a nine pounder. Not even just saw it, just caught it. The reason I'm not putting on a new skirt is because I'm afraid I'm gonna catch another pickerel. And I'd much rather have them tear at this diesel minnow than a $15 jackhammer, you know. Just my thought process on it all. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. I hear a big old alligator in the reeds. Kind of scary, but it's whatever. Maybe it's just that fear, that, that what if, but you can't live life like that. Shoot, I didn't even have to buy breakfast. I could have just ate this salad. Goodness gracious, man, it's all over the place. But one bass, that's all I want. You know how it is down here? Yeah, it's starting to look a little more like bass heaven back here. Whatever it takes to get on a bass, we will do it. Oh, we had one. We had one right here at the kayak. And that bird's laughing at me now. getting harassed by the wind. I decided it was time for a little little snack break. I mean, fish aren't biting, so what else is there to do, you know? Keep trying? No. No. We'll uh, chow down on a cliff bar. Mm. 
I don't know what it is about swim jigs that make them so appealing. I hate swim jigs, but this with the razor shad whew, looks money. I mean, if I've ever seen a bass bait before, this is what it looked like. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's a bass. Oh, that's a nice bass too. <laughs> We've been waiting on this all day. I told you the swim jig just looks so appealing. Oh my god. How do we get them? We don't have a net. There we go. That's a nice fish. Look at his head. It's all beat up on the top. That is dope heck yeah man we freaking did it that's a bass for you guys right there now that's two three pounder let's get a, uh, a release on this guy thank you buddy it's been a while i know you're not dead what are you doing there you go awesome let's go let's get on another one i finally got one and uh we're gonna swing for another one here go back to the spot and see if there's any more I haven't thrown that bait in like four years, but hey, keep it in your arsenal and you might need it one day. That's the way it works, man. Oh yeah, there's got to be another bass around here somewhere. I can't be... Oh, is that a fit? Oh, oh, as I was saying that, as I was saying that, oh my gosh, <laughs> I thought I was snagged on something. What the heck? What the heck? No, don't get out the lily pads, boy. You're not going in there. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, golly, that hurt. Grabbed his back fin. Woo! Oh, he's beat up too. What the heck? What's up with these fish? He's got a big gash in his head. Wow. All right, man. Thanks for giving up your address. You can go back home. Sweet. Uh, I'm just afraid of a big like, 12 foot gator coming up and following him and then snatching me in with him. That'd be something, wouldn't it? That'd be something else, I'll tell you that much. Let's go. I mean, I was literally just saying, I wonder where all the bass are or something along those lines and then BAM! Smacked it. Here, fishy fish. I'm on crazy mode, what am I doing? Whew. A long, long hike back to the truck. Wind's not helping. It's like I don't even want to make a catch because now here I am like flying 30 feet backwards. What's going on? Come on, man. I am beat. Beat, son. Can't take it no more. My arms are feeling like noodles. My abdomen is killing me. It's like I'm taking a poopy all day. Good golly, man. Making a run for it. No stopping. Alrighty, folks. That is going to make it the end of the video. I'd say it was a pretty good day. I mean, we caught, what, six fish, four pickerel, two bass, missed two. Could have, could you know, it just wasn't the best conditions for it. I'd say it was probably because of the rain. The, mur the water was just a tad murkier than it was the past few days, um, which will take, take an effect on it. You know, that's just the way it is. That's that's fishing. It's bass fishing, especially. They change by the hour, change by the minute, honestly. But had to go home, drop the kayak off the Drew, say goodbye to um, Dusty and Drew. Um, had a great trip with them guys. Definitely going to be doing some more stuff together in the future. Um, but thank you guys for tuning in and sticking along with me through the end of the video. Go ahead and hit that red subscribe button and that like button. Oh, I'm a little, I'm a little... I'm a little red, ain't I? That gum, son, I done got some heat on me. I wore the jacket all day. It was windy, which made it chilly. But the sun was still beating. It, I mean, it's 68 degrees, but the wind was just making it chilly. I had two jackets on until like 9 o'clock this morning. Didn't get off the water till 3. But we got a two-hour drive ahead of us, and we're going to try to get on home. I got to get some stuff prepared before school tomorrow. It's been a great spring break. Went up to Ohio and Pennsylvania. You go, you guys go check those videos out. So far, I haven't looked at them. Haven't done any editing. 
I've been like a month behind on every single thing, even from the Key West trip. But before you see this video, you, you would have already seen those videos. Um, goodness gracious, I'm all over the place. Slacking, man. Thank you guys for watching. Remember, fish more, catch more, and I'll see you on the next one.